everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Erica with Memory Box Candle Co. And I make videos all about the journey of starting a candle business. And if you are somebody watching this video right now who is an aspiring candle business owner, I have a gift for you to download right now on my coming soon website, which is ericamariemorris.com slash checklist. This is going to give you a candle business launch checklist that you can download and print out and physically check off when you are getting these tasks done as you are preparing for the launch of your candle business. I know how overwhelming and stressful this time is, so I really wanted to put together this helpful guide for you to follow along as you are going through this journey. But today's video is going to be more on the fun side and something that I found online and I really just kind of wanted to go over it with you just so you can kind of see what I'm looking at as well on what are the most popular scents based on the states. So obviously this is talking about the United States. This is where I live. I live specifically in California. So I wanted to basically just go over this list and also give you some insight into the feedback that I've received living in California and the top scents that I typically get requests on um, when I'm at local markets, when I'm talking face to face with customers. All right, so this information comes from a website called shingco.com. And what they did was they looked at the Google search data in order to find this information between November 2020 and November 2021 to basically see which terms were searched the most. So they figured that if it was searched the most in these states, then that meant the most popular. And this is the conclusion that they were able to find. I like the little graphic that they made. Um, they color coded everything so you could see. So I'm just gonna zoom in over here. So um, just based on what I'm seeing so far, it's looking like they were able to put the most popular candle scents on top. So we have right here in the little color coordinated, we have citrus, coconut, gardenia, lavender, lemon, peppermint, pumpkin, rose, vanilla, and then other. So I'm assuming that there's obviously states that chose the same ones. Um, and then we also have states that just throw out different um, favorites as well. So just going down the list. So we have Alabama is coconut and Arizona is coconut. Now coconut is one that I know is a scent that is very, um, I wanna say acquired, not a lot of people like coconut, but then again, a lot of people like coconut. So that's interesting that a scent that can be so polarizing as coconut um, would actually be a top favorite. And that's actually was a top, top favorite because you can see on the top right there that coconut is amongst all of the ones that were actually chosen more frequently. So we also have down here, we have a mixture of pumpkin and vanilla as we go through Arkansas and Delaware. Um, now, pumpkin, vanilla, those are scents that definitely um, are more universal and something that I've known that a lot of people really like. So especially with vanilla. Now, vanilla being associated with California, that is something that I have actually um, definitely noticed as well. And that's also another reason why I'm actually thinking about adjusting my ice cream cake candle because I feel like a lot of people that like vanilla, there's different kinds of vanilla. There is vanilla that's like the sugar cookie, you know, cupcake, uh, frosting kind of vanilla. And then there's the more like perfumey kind of vanilla, if you know what I mean. And I feel like there's two different kinds of people that like either the dessert kind of vanilla or more of like that perfumey kind of vanilla. Um, so I've been thinking about changing up the ice cream cake that I have um, to make it more of like that vanilla or have the name vanilla in it. Um, because I feel like people look for vanilla. I've had multiple people, you know, I like to ask people when they come to my booth, you know, what kind of scents do you typically like? And I've gotten a lot of, I'll tell you the ones that I, that I typically get. Vanilla, lavender, lemon, eucalyptus, um, and then gardenia, which I found very interesting that gardenia was on there. And that's been a scent that I've wanted to add into my line for since like 
probably two years ago. It's been a long time that I've been wanting to add in a gardenia and I have an idea for it, but it just, it never kind of came to be. Uh, but that's definitely a scent that a lot of people really like. And then scrolling down citrus um, for Florida, that kind of makes sense being Florida. Um, Georgia is mahogany teakwood. Now that's one of my favorite scents. So that's really interesting that mahogany teakwood is on here. Um, and specifically with Georgia, now I'm, I don't know if you'd be able to, you know, associate states with scents. Um, for some reason, citrus made sense for Florida because there's a whole like oranges, like Florida oranges, that commercial or whatever, you know what I mean? Um, but uh, so that's always, that makes sense to me that citrus and Florida would go together because it's very like tropical over there. Um, Idaho, pumpkin, we got Illinois is cotton. Um, that's another scent that is very popular and something that a lot of people want is that clean cotton kind of scent. Um, linen, anything that's fresh, like fresh laundry, cotton, something like that, people really like that. It's very neutral and it's something that is not overpowering um, and people, people really like that scent. And then Indiana is vanilla. We got Iowa is cedar. Now cedar to me um, is that woodsy kind of more masculine kind of scent. Um, I really like cedar a lot, cedar wood and kind of the woodsy kind of scents. Um, so I think I have cedar in a couple um, notes in some of my candle scents. And then Kansas vanilla, we got Kentucky is maple. Very interesting specific search for a maple candle, very interesting. I wouldn't think that that would be very popular enough for an entire state to get that as the majority for their search for their search terms. That's very interesting. Um, Louisiana is rose. I personally do not like rose, but I know a lot of people do, and it's really good to have that scent as an option. And that was one of the first scents that I worked with when I started making candles was a fresh cut rose scent. I believe it was from California Candle Supply. And a lot of people really, really like that scent. I am not a fan of rose, but again, it's not about me. Um, so Maine is pumpkin, Maryland is peppermint. Now peppermint and eucalyptus, those are some very interesting and commonly liked scents um, for candles. I've had um, a lot of people come up and say they like eucalyptus. I've actually not had anybody say peppermint. Um, it's always eucalyptus, but it's kind of in that mint family. So um, that's something interesting that I found. And I don't know if it's because eucalyptus kind of gives more of that ocean kind of um, notes to it than peppermint does. Eucalyptus gives that kind of cooling, um, beachy kind of notes to it. So maybe being in California, that's why people tend to want more of that eucalyptus, maybe. And then Massachusetts is lemon. Um, now lemon is, again, one of those really clean scents, citrus. Now I don't know how they distinguish between citrus and lemon. Maybe it's just really just based on the search results. So lemon candle, citrus candle, I'm assuming that's what they're going based off of. And then Michigan is tobacco. That's very interesting. Uh, Minnesota is lavender. Um, again, not one of my favorites, but I know a lot of people really like it. Um, we got Mississippi is pumpkin, Missouri lemon, Nebraska vanilla, Nevada rose, New Hampshire is balsam. Now that is one of my favorite scents, but it's interesting that that would be a top search result since balsam is usually more for the holidays. So that's very interesting to me. Um, now I know that for me personally, I can light a pine scented, Christmas tree scented candle all year long, and I'm fine with that. <laughs> I really like that. And that's also another scent that a lot of people um, have asked me for at markets as well. And I have to be like, oh, I'm gonna have that, you know, towards the holiday time. So, you know, I, I can't have all the scents. And that's something that, you know, I'm sure you watching when you, when you learn that you can't, 
you can't please everybody. You're not gonna be selling to everybody. And if you watched my last video, you know that you need to be finding your customer first prior to making your actual products and knowing your customer will help you kind of determine the sense. And this is really just for fun, just out of curiosity um, to see. This doesn't mean that these are the scents that you have to be offering. This is really just for fun, just to see um, kind of what the search results were from this. New Jersey is cookie. I'm assuming that's like the vanilla sugar cookie, fresh baked cookie kind of scent. New Mexico is pumpkin. New York is gardenia. North Carolina is lavender. Ohio is peppermint. I love this one. Oklahoma is just blue volcano. Why is that hilarious to me? One of my best friends moved over to Oklahoma and she loves the blue volcano candle. <laughs> I think, I think that's the one. Is that the one that's, um, it's like fruity and it's very popular. I think I know exactly which one that is. That's funny that that's, it's not a scent, it's just this one, the anthropology candle, just this specific one. That's funny. Um, Oregon is rose. Pennsylvania is cranberry. Um, I love the smell of cranberry. I, I love cranberry candles. Um, pumpkin or no, Rhode Island is pumpkin. South Carolina, vanilla. Tennessee is lemon. Texas is gardenia. Utah is Fraser fir. Again, very interesting. Um, Virginia is vanilla. Washington, citrus. West Virginia is pumpkin. And Wisconsin is lavender. And they do have a little notes down here saying that those specific states, they could not determine enough search data. So they were not able to um, find you know, enough to be able to figure out which ones were the most popular over there. Um, the sun just went behind the clouds. That's been going on and off since filming. Um, but that's very interesting. So what I'm looking for from you guys is where do you live? What state do you live in? And do you feel like this is accurate based on the customer request or your best sellers within your state? This would be really interesting for me if I could get some data from my um, like back end of Shopify and see if I can categorize it by scent and then see where the customers lived and see if I could do some like to see if it matched up to this. I feel like that would be really, really interesting to do. Um, but this video was just all for fun. It was just fun looking and seeing what the most popular scents are from, from each state. And this may give you some ideas on the scents that you may be wanting to offer, um, especially if you're gonna be more local and sell more locally um, in your city and in your state. This could be a good guide or indication of maybe you should have that scent as an option. Um, but again, it's always best to find your customer first um, and then that will be able to determine what sense you should be offering because I know how um, overwhelming it can be trying to choose a certain select number of scents when there's thousands of different options amongst all of these candle suppliers. So I totally understand. Um, but with that, I think I'm going to end today's video right here. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave it a big thumbs up as well as subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Also, don't forget to follow me over on Instagram at Memory Box Candle Co. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. They figured out the data from all of this. So they figured out the data from Google. Now this was search data. Why did I just say data and then data? Maybe because I don't know how I actually say it. Data or data? What do I do? Data kind of sounds like you're saying dada. Data. 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 Data, 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 data. I don't know. <laughs>